Hi everyone and welcome back to Building Websites in R with Distill. In today's tutorial, we're going to create a few of the lesson plans from the R Girls website. So let's start off by building our website and seeing where we left off. So of course, we'll just open up our studio and the first thing we'll do is go build and build our website. Okay, so in the last tutorial, we built the getting started page, which as a reminder, we used the create article function from Distill. Now, in today's tutorial, we'll create a few of the lesson plans. And the first one is called my first R Markdown lesson. And then we'll also create a couple of the math lessons. So let's take a closer look at the R Girls website to see exactly what these lessons look like. Okay, so here if we go to my first R Markdown lesson, we can see that this is actually just a single lesson. So when we click on it, we are taken directly to the lesson itself. However, when we go and click on math lessons, we're taken to a new page where we can see a list of all the different math lessons. In Distill, each of the lessons on this page can be thought of as a unique post. So even once you're on this page, you still have to choose the lesson plan you want to view. So for example, if we want to look at box plots, we have to click on the link here. And now finally, we are taken to the specific lesson. And once again, I will note that this page is nothing more than just an R markdown file that's been converted into an HTML document. Okay, so let's start off with creating my first R Markdown lesson because it's a little bit simpler and it actually uses the same create article function that we used in the previous tutorial. So let's go to our studio and we'll call in our distill library. And now the next function we will do is our create article function from distill. So as a reminder, we just have to enter in the file name. So I will call this R Markdown 1 and click enter. So now we've created an R Markdown 1.rmd. And just as a reminder, it's important that this file name matches up with the href that we have on our site.yaml file. And remember, again, we will be working within the .rmd file, but it will be converted to this HTML at the end once we build our website. Okay, so let's first update some of the information within our YAML. And this, these are just details taken straight from the actual lesson itself, which can be found on the R Girls website. And of course, you can edit this for whatever post you are creating. And it's up to you whether you want a description, the author, the date, and so on. I'm actually going to remove the author, but I'll keep the date and the output here. Now we will get rid of this because we'll add in our own content in just a minute, but let's first knit this just to make sure there are no issues. Okay, and here we go. So now we've knit this file and all we see is the title and the description, but at least we know that this link is working. So now we can go ahead and add in some of the content to this markdown file. Okay, so to do this, I am going to go to the R Girls GitHub page and find the markdown file itself and just copy and paste some of the information. Okay, I will actually point out, I'm going to skip over this beginning code um, because it's a little bit outside of the scope of these tutorials. But if you're interested, I will just briefly walk you through what these lines of code are doing. And then you have all the code here on the GitHub page. If you're interested, I do recommend maybe you can look up some of the different packages and functions to try to understand on your own. But Let's, I think we can put this side by side to get a better look at what the code is doing. So we'll go to the lesson plan. So the very first thing we see are the three links to download 
an RMD, a Word document, and a PDF. So that's what these lines of code are doing. So you can even see it says download RMD here, download Word document, and download PDF. Now, I actually, to figure this out, I did some Googling, and I, I definitely used the internet to help me out in order to figure out how to get uh, these links where you can download files straight from your website. Okay, so that's what that's doing. And then this line 21, it's adding in this image. And I've just specified some of the dimensions and things like that. Okay, but the main actual lesson plan starts down here where you can see introduction to R Markdown. So let's just go ahead and copy this, this code here. And now we can go back to our studio and paste it in. Okay, so there are a lot of lines here, but this is the full lesson plan. So we won't worry about the content too much because um, it's all on the website. If you do want to go and look through the lesson plan, I definitely encourage you, encourage you to check it out. But for now, let's try to build this lesson and see what it looks like. So I, I tend to always knit before building just because it is a bit faster and to make, make sure that it works as expected, but this all looks good. So now let's go and just do a quick build. Okay, so let's make this full screen. So now if we go to our lesson plan here, you can see we do in fact have all of the entire lesson plan right here. So that looks really good for creating my first R Markdown lesson. And next we will go back to our studio and we'll start working on creating a couple of math lessons. Okay, so I will go ahead and just clear the console here. And now I'm sure there are several ways to go through and create posts, but I'll show you the workflow that has worked for me and that I'm used to. So the first thing that we're going to do is create an RMD file that will live in our current working directory, which is, as we can see, it's just within our distilled tutorial here. So to do this, you can either go file, new project, R markdown, or go to this new file button and click R markdown. I'm going to call this because we're doing math lessons. I will call this math lessons. And now this is just the title, but note that we haven't actually saved our file yet. So let's go ahead and save it. And here I'll do math underscore lessons. Now, remember what your file name is because it's really important that this file name matches up with the name that you have referenced here in the, for the href. Right, so the, we have math underscore lessons. Right now we'll be working within our RMD file, but remember this will eventually be converted into an HTML, which is what we will be referenced here. Okay, great. So all we're going to do is add one line to the YAML, that's listings, and we're going to just write math. Easy enough, and I'll delete everything else and I'll save this. So this is really just part of the initial setup to create the different posts that we want. We won't actually put any other code or any other content within this specific RMD files file, but this is really important to have and you'll see why in just a minute. For the R Girls website, for example, we can see that we have math lessons, but we also have science lessons and geography lessons. So if you wanted to create posts for science, for example, you will have to go through the same process and set up a science lessons and call it science and go through these same steps that we're going through now. So I'm really just using math as the primary example, but the same steps will work for whatever other posts you want to create. Okay, so I'll keep this open, but again, we won't be adding any more 
code or anything to this specific file. So now we actually want to create our first math post. So to do that, we're going to use a function. So rather than the create article function that we've used in the past, we're going to create, we're going to use a function called create post. And here we have to put two arguments in. First is the title. So the first example we're going to use is the box plot post. So we'll go through and create the box plot lesson plan. But now importantly, we also, ha also have to add this argument called collection. So this tells us where this post should live. And because this is a math lesson, of course, we'll want to put it inside our math collection. So notice how this matches up with whatever we have here. So of course, now I'm working on the math lessons, so I'm putting it inside the math collection. All right, so as soon as I clicked enter, we can see a few things just happened. First of all, if we look over in our files, when I clicked enter, it automatically created this new folder under, that's underscore math. So that's really cool. I didn't have to do anything. It just automatically created this. So if we click on this folder, now we see a new folder where our post has been created. And now it's organized uh, by default in a really helpful way that gives us the date that it's been created followed by the title. Now you will note that they got rid of my underscore, so they just put the title all together into one word. So that's totally normal and hopefully that's not too confusing. But we can see this, in fact, is the post that we just created. And now if we go inside this folder, this is our RMD file. And you may have noticed when we ran this function, it automatically opened up the box plot post RMD. But if you accidentally close it, you can easily open it back up by navigating to the correct folder and opening up this RMD file. Okay, so once we have this created, now it's totally up to you to go ahead and modify your R markdown file. So of course you'll want to edit the YAML. So changing the title, description, if you want the author date and so on. I, I would recommend keeping the output as it is. There have been times where I've accidentally changed some things and then I've run into issues and error messages. Okay, so for this post, I'm just going to go back to the R Girls website and let's find the math folder. And we're doing box plot. So you can see here, here are all of the files. So it is really important. You can see on for the actual lesson plan on the website, we have several other other files. Right? There are some files, the RMD and the Word doc and the PDF that you can download. So if you do have other files, for any specific lesson or specific post, you want to make sure to save it in the appropriate folder like we have here. Okay, but so for now, we are going to open up the box plot post and I am just going to copy the YAML. Okay, and now I will copy the entire lesson plan Okay, and one thing I will point out in this first R chunk, I do, this is just the setup chunk. I do always recommend putting in the libraries that you need for your post here. And you can see by default, the setup chunk, you will have include equals false and some of these different um, default settings here. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to knit this file Let's make sure there are no errors with knitting. Okay, and this looks really good. Let's just do a quick scroll. All right, that's great. And now let's build our website. Okay, cool. So we can go math lessons and now we can see we have our first math lesson. And if we click on it, here's our RMD file that we just created. 
Okay, awesome. So that looks really great. And now I will go through the steps quickly just to review the process. Um, just as in one more example, we'll create a second lesson. So I'll call this create post. And I'm going to call it, we'll just do a generate sequence one. It's, it's one of the other math lessons. And we'll do post. And again, the collection will still be math. Okay, so we can see how similar our the code is. All we've all we're doing now is creating a different post, and we can click enter. And now we have our RMD file here. And if we go back to our math folder, we have our new generating sequence number one post here. And again, here is our RMD file. So the same thing. I will quickly just go and find this RMD file. And I will copy and paste this once more. Now I will just get rid of this top section, but we went over that code earlier. Okay, so let's try to knit this. Oh, I will point out now, I tried to build the website before knitting the file. Now this doesn't always happen, so I'm not 100% sure when you have to knit the file first, but if you build your website and one of your posts is not showing up, I would recommend just going back to the RMD file and trying to knit it again or knit it first and then build it. Okay, so in this case, I believe I just knit the file, so this looks good, and now we'll try to build it. Okay, and hopefully this has worked. So here we go to math lessons and that's great. Now we have our two math lessons. Okay, so here you can see that within our box plot, we have this image that has by default appeared. And I think that's just because we have this image within the post. So it will look for an image and make one by select one by default, I think it just chooses the first image, but there must not be an image here. So I think this is just code, which doesn't count as an image. So that's why we don't actually see a preview of any image here. There is a way, if you are interested in having a, a photo appear here, you can of course set a photo, uh, whatever photo that you want. So I'll show you the steps to do that. It's pretty straightforward, but you will need an image that you have in mind. So for this one, I believe I've just copied, I've just taken a screenshot of this um, sequence here, of this image right here, and I've just put it on my desktop. Let's see. Yep, so that's what it looks like. So I've saved this as generate seek one photo.png. So all we have to do is put this image in the correct folder. Okay, so we'll open up our, our project, go to math, generating sequence, and I'm just going to move this here, right? So now it's in the right place. So now let's go back to our studio. And, oh, so you can see because I actually copy and pasted the code before, you will have to add this line that says preview and then the name of the photo. So just to show you here, we have the generate seek one photo.png. So that's what we're setting it to here. All right, so let's save that. And I do think I'm going to just build, knit this first. Okay, and now I will build the website. Okay. Cool. So, okay. And here we go. We can zoom in a little bit. So now we can see we have both of our lesson plans and images for both. So just as a quick review, in the last tutorial, we start, we set up the getting started page. And today we have created 
my first R markdown lesson and a couple of lessons within the math lessons specifically. Okay, so this all looks great. And of course, the very last thing we have to do is push all of our changes to GitHub. So we'll go tools, shell, as always, git add a. And now we can commit, leave ourselves a message, and finally push. Okay, great. So thank you so much for watching these tutorials. I hope you learned a lot and I hope you had a lot of fun uh, designing and building your very own website using R and Distill. Please do leave any questions or comments below. I'm happy to try to answer your questions or help with any troubleshooting if I can. And that's all for me. Good luck with continuing to build your websites in the future and thank you so much for watching.